Atomic force microscopy is an important technique for the characterization of surfaces with nanometer resolution. An oscillating micro cantilever with a sharp tip is used to measure local mechanical or electrical surface properties. In state-of-the-art systems, the cantilever oscillation is detected by laser-based deflection sensors, which require an elaborate measurement head and are not suited for samples in light-sensitive or opaque environments. In bestehenden IFM-Systemen werden Cantilever-Oszillationen mittels Lock-in Verstärker gemessen. Dies erfordert entweder eine sehr schnelle Abtastung der zu messenden Signale oder relativ teures zusätzliches externes Equipment. Self-sensing cantilevers with integrated sensors enable a direct measurement of the deflection, but they require expensive external lock-in demodulators to extract the oscillation amplitude and phase from the measured deflection. The sensors are typically connected in bridge circuits with DC voltages which can lead to electrochemical effects when operating in liquid environments, damaging the sample and the cantilever. Wir haben eine Technologie entwickelt, die eine direkte Messung von Cantilever-Oszillationen für Mikroskopieanwendungen ermöglicht. Damit lassen sich Schwingungsamplituden ohne externe Geräte messen. We have developed a technology which allows a direct measurement of cantilever oscillations. The method enables demodulation without expensive external components and uses high-frequency sensor supply voltages to avoid electrochemical reactions with the sample. The core of the invention is the connection of piezo-resistive sensor elements in independent bridge circuits, which are supplied by sinusoidal signals. The AC bridge circuits are operated at the mechanical oscillation frequency, which leads to a direct demodulation at the bridge output voltage. This invention allows a simplified measurement of the cantilever oscillation by integrating the lock-in demodulation technique into the sensor electronics. Diese neue Methode vereinfacht den Einsatz von Rasterkraftmikroskopen in vor allem flüssigen Umgebungen. Dies ist essentiell für die Charakterisierung diverser biologischer Proben, wie zum Beispiel DNA. This enables improved operation of atomic force microscopes in liquid environments which is crucial for the characterization of many industrial and biological samples.